Do you have a metric that you measure after each and every single one of your hypnosis and coaching session to let you know the progress you've made inside your session? Let me know below. Do you have a metric? Yes or no? Yes metric? No metric. <laughs> Let me know below. Uh, I'd love to know because this is really important. And to be quite honest, this is something that was not taught to me traditionally when I first uh, started off in the hypnosis space. Uh, and this, some, this is something that makes a lot of sense when you hear about it. Having a some sort of measurement standard um, that you do within your sessions and not just at the end of your package, if you have that or in the middle of the package, but for each and every single call that you do with your client, there needs to be something that lets you know that, a pro that some progress has been made within your sessions, right? Because what that'll do is that it will show you the the result. It will show you the work that needs to be done. And most importantly, it tells your client and proves to them that they have changed. That is mostly more powerful than anything else, right? Just imagine it is your first session and it is a client with, say, social anxiety, right? Client comes to you, social anxiety, and that very first session with you, you ask them very specific questions. And then at the end, they go, oh, shit, yeah, I can definitely see myself going and putting myself out there and talking to a group of people or going out to a party that my friends are have invited me over the weekend. Them saying that is a change, right? Like if they said that they have canceled all their plans and even became agoraphobic the past three to six months, and then they, they tell you that they're willing to go out in a party, that is a result, right? That is an amazing result that you can see, that you can measure, and a client can experience. So do you do something like this in your session? If not, there's no shame in it, because as I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this, this is not traditionally taught. Um, and so that's why in my hypnotic questioning trainings, we focus on the hypnotic testing process. In particular, there is a three-step process that we go through called the 3S hypnotic testing process that we go through to specifically let us know at the end of each and every call that our client has changed. And what it's what this does is not only allows you to know where you're at with your client, it helps them see that they've changed and it is just a great metric to have. Um, and so if you're not doing this yet, then you best get your ass to do it. And I will give you the first step. The first step of the 3S process is called situational testing. So you're testing the situations to which it occurred, uh, that problem occurred using the same example that I did now. It's all about situational testing, right? So if it, and the most important thing of this is that you use your client's exact scenarios as to where the problem comes up. So if that was a client that I mentioned earlier and they told you that they had, uh, and obviously this is made up, but say you, th that client said that they had a party over the weekend, they had a session with you during the week, um, you will simply ask the question, you do your thing, you do whatever methodology that you're using for transformations, you do it. At the end, you're simply going to ask the first situational question, which is, that is relevant to them, by the way, which is, so you mentioned that you have this party over the weekend. Do you think you're going to go? Because what, that, what will that tell you, right? They will tell you if they're still socially anxious or not. Simple, right? Then you'll know for certain that if a client says, yes, I, I, I'm a little bit uncomfortable, but yes, I'm going to do it. I'm excited to do it. That is a great job. Good for you. Congratulations. That's a breakthrough, right? And if they say, no, I still, I, I don't know, then you have something to go by, right? Like then you have that knowing, that certainty, that metric to know that there still needs work to be done, right? And you could choose to either do it right then and there. Um, this is what my, what I 
encourage my students because they have the skill set to actually just finish it right off right then and there at the moment and so do it then because that could potentially be worse in the future once they leave your session right the actual neuroplasticity happens after not the session not during so when you test it out you are more likely your client is more likely to be to have their new behaviors and new thought patterns and new new emotions be reinforced strongly instead of the old ones because you're already testing you're getting their mind to think of ways you're helping them to become problem solvers instead of stuck in the problem like they were before isn't that so much powerful and so for you if you're not doing this today that your house is going and start this within your sessions do at least a situational questions, a few of them with each of your sessions and just notice how much more satisfied you'll be, how much more satisfied your client is, how much less stress, how less stress you become because you'll be ending your sessions knowing that at least there was progress that was done within your sessions. And if you want to truly learn this 3S testing process, comment below testing masterclass so that I can give you the valuable resource that you can use for life so that you can embody and use this powerful practice that lets you know for certain that your client works, uh, that your client session worked, and also helps you up as the expert in your field because if you're testing your clients and they get the result immediately as as little as your one session, are they going to be impressed with you? Of course they are, right? And so this helps set you up to be of a higher authority within your clients, which just means happier clients, more referrals, more income, more impact, right? So comment hypnotic testing below if you would like that resource and I will see you around.